This tutorial is about uh, the new parallel thint feature which was uh, introduced in uh, Pixplant 3.0.11 um, and this uh, feature allows the, the synchronized tiling of multiple textures. Um, suppose for instance that we have uh, a pack of uh, uh, images. Uh, these, these images are not tileable. You can see at the edges that they do not match and uh, we have a diffuse image, a displacement, normal, specular perhaps they were uh, acquired uh, by, by some 3D scanning um, solution out there and um, we need to make them tileable before this was not possible because you, you could only um, in the texture synth uh, part of Pixplant you could only um, generate one texture at a time and of course if you apply if you try to generate them um, one after one at a time they they will not be synchronized um, the idea is that we we have all these textures but as they don't tile um, we we need to 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 make tiling versions of them and the, the this this uh, generated images they need to be synchronized so that uh, a pixel in the same position across the, the images is um, well uh, it's coherent among themselves uh, and this is the only way to have uh, usable tiling uh, maps and um, so let's see let's um, see how this works let's start by um, opening uh, the diffuse uh, image and um, let's say enable the parallel thin part and this is done by clicking here this checkbox which uh, shows um, uh, some some controls that were previously hidden and the idea here is that we'll have a um, master uh, and uh, several slaves and the, um, the operations that will be done in the master and from the master seed image will be in parallel Re replicated um, by the slave seed, seed images and uh, uh, in this way we know that the generated um, images will, will all be tiling and will be synchronized and coherent among themselves and um, so uh, after loading w the one which will be the master uh, seed image we, we define a target and a target is um, either one of the maps um, available in the 3D maps part of Pixplant or we can save to file we can, uh, we'll, we'll see later the, uh, what this can be used for then um, so if we choose diffuse this will then be after generation will be transferred here to the diffuse part of the 3D maps area and the same for other uh, images that we have um, so uh, and then we need to to define the the slave um, slaves and uh, so let's uh, simply dra drag and drop to um, one of these available slots here we could also uh, press the the button and open the file in the regular way and uh, this the target should be the normal um, normal map the normal map of the, of the 3d maps area and you can see that in both displacement and normal there's also um, the dimension of uh, the the other uh, part um, in in pixplant um, both normal and displacement are really just two two views over the same surface um, of, over the same displacement um, and um, because of this uh, when for instance like we are doing here when you define normal as target then displacement of course will also be um, generated and set and uh, so for the next slot let's uh, open for instance the specular and um, the specular and of course define specular sorry you cannot see this but we we've just uh, selected specular and uh, of course we could also have uh, ambient occlusion 
which I'll be selecting. Okay, and uh, we could also select save to file. Save to file is is an important uh, feature here because instead of transferring to one of the 3D maps which are current currently su supported by Pixplant, um, you can simply save it to file. Because of this, you can uh, use other um, 3D map types which are currently not not supported. For instance, roughness map or a metallic map or an alpha map, and um, you can do it do it like this. You simply save the f save to file. If I click now, it will ask me for the destination file location. Okay, and uh, after doing this, uh, well, we just click generate. Um, okay, 1024, 1024. Okay, now see what happened here. I'm gonna move this out of the way for now. Uh, it's ge it generated from the master seed. It generated um, the master image or a, a tiling master image, because we we also uh, set a normal image as the uh, as slave. Pixplant needs to open the extract displacement from normal map window. Um, which is necessary because um, Pixplan needs to extract the surface uh, from the from the normal map. It needs to integrate it, and um, therefore it needs to to show you this uh, this window. Um, the only setting that uh, one one should uh, should look for here on this window is the flip normal Y um, setting, which uh, basically controls whether uh, normal Y values are pointing up or down um, as is common with normal maps so if you just check this or uncheck you can see that uh, on on some cases they make sense and in other cases they don't in our case of course the, the good solution is this one or the good setting is this one and the other one makes no sense so let's leave it at, at this and I'll click OK so if, if we now um, change to the 3D maps area, you can see that the bitmaps are placed in, uh, in their uh, respective um, 3D maps, I mean the generated uh, bitmaps, and they are all here. And if you, if, you change the, if you change the 3D model here, you can see that everything is there. I'm, remo I'm now removing the diffuse from uh, from the preview. You can see that they're all here, and the texture is now tiling, and um, everything is uh, synchronized and coherent. Back to the texture area. Suppose we'd like to. Um, suppose we'd like to. We don't want these darker tiles here, for instance. Well, I can just come here to the. Um, to the master seed and say that we don't want to generate from these parts of the seed image. I'm more or less selecting the darker tiles. And let's just generate again. Okay, and okay, it seems we don't have any darker tiles now. Normal is using the same settings as before, I'll just hit OK. And if we switch back to the 3D map area. Uh, you can see that we have a, a good and a, um, well working and tiling uh, texture made from those uh, seed images, those bitmaps that we had before and which were not tiling. And this is uh, pretty much it. Um, you can download this uh, build and uh, or, or newer builds from pixplant.com. And uh, thanks for watching.